All right, guys, I'm not lying to you. I have the most crazy news to share with y'all in this video. I swear by the end of it, you're gonna be as pumped as I am. I'm building the truck again for like the 5,000th time. I'm stripping everything off the truck. It's going to be wild. Crazy sponsors have came on board randomly all of a sudden. I am getting a flatbed tray and canopy, an insane brand new long travel kit, and insane brand new long travel suspension that hasn't even been out yet. All three of those things have never been put on a vehicle yet. I have so many people to thank. I don't even know. I can't even talk. Just watch the video. So I got a little ahead of myself and I've already started stripping things down, blah, blah, blah. And you're probably like, Grant, why the heck are you doing this? Fill me in, tell me what's up. There's a lot of things that are up, okay? <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to give you the Cliff Notes version. There's just so many moving parts and craziness happening that, I mean, I could spend a whole video just thanking people of how this has all happened and everything, but we'll get to that, okay? So. Cliff Notes version. I am getting a flatbed tray and canopy. I'm going to be the very first Tacoma to run um, a company called Dirtbox Overland. They have a brand new flatbed tray and canopy for um, Gladiators, Tacomas, Tundras. They're a pretty, pretty new company out of Colorado. Um, I'm going to be the very first one to run it on a Tacoma. So that is an absolute dream, like, like seriously a dream. Um, my kind of my off-road influence and overland influence comes from Australia and what they've been doing. I think they're 10, 15 years ahead of the U.S. as far as off-roading because it's a way of life over there. Um, and if you pay attention, everybody has a snorkel and just about every truck out there, farm truck, whatever, has a flatbed. Just crazy cool for utility and blah, blah, blah. So um, I'll, actually, I'll slap a little rendering up on the screen right now to show you somewhat what the uh, flatbed might look like. Um, the one that I actually used is from Dirtbox Overland's Gladiator. So it'll be pretty similar. Anyway, if that wasn't enough, the second cool thing is I'm partnering with All Pro uh, Off-Road and they have a brand new suspension, long travel suspension that isn't even out yet. Um, I'll be like, I don't know, with six or eight different Tacomas. Um, running the same kit we're all gonna kind of get them at the same time that in of itself is unbelievable because the amount of strength and articulation and just freaking awesomeness coming out of this kit is going to be next level and you pair that with a flatbed it's going to be just seriously unbelievable and then the third thing is um, i've been working with dobinson's suspension for a while i love dobinson stuff um, in my opinion it has the smoothest ride and the best longevity, which I am really just after longevity, honestly, uh, especially in an overlanding application. But anyway, Dobison um, is coming out with brand new long travel shocks. And I already have their long travel shocks on the rear, but I'm talking longer shocks. Um, we're going to do a 14 inch smoothie kind of style, a uh, brand new Dobison shock in the rear and an archive garage relocation kit. So the rear is going to flex like, just stupid it's going to be sick and then in the front they're also doing like an eight inch long travel true long travel coilover um from what i understand it's going to be pretty similar to the mrr like i have now just longer um uh, longer travel so i'm going to be the very first tacoma running those shocks as well so for some reason like these companies decided to pick me like i didn't go after these companies and say hey can i do this and this like that's just not my style and if you do that, that's fine. Like I'm not dogging or whatever, but I'm like truly humbled that these companies want to use me and, and my truck to do this stuff. Like just insanely blessed. I, I don't know any other way to put it. All this stuff has got to go. And you're probably like, dang Grant, you spent, you know, hours and forever dialing this thing in. Well, yeah, that's true. And I've learned a ton along the way. And there's honestly nothing I would change about this setup. I love the GFC. I love how I you know, cut that deck system out and made everything just work perfectly to my needs. 
And uh, if I didn't have this opportunity with the flatbed, absolutely I'd keep it, you know, but I can't pass this flatbed thing up. Let me, let me play some clips because I did get some clips of me um, kind of showing you the camper and then taking stuff out and kind of doing that process because I know you guys want, kind of want to see that transformation. So we'll cut to those and then I'll go outside and show you what it is now. And then we have to take the rear bumper off and just prep for this whole flatbed thing. So let's go to those clips. The entire camper setup, the rear bumper swing out system, all of that stuff, the whole interior GFC build, all of that is going to change. Uh, and by change, I mean be completely removed. So let me just show you guys the final setup that I'm about to just completely tear down and take all apart. Uh, I think most of you guys are pretty familiar with my setup, but if any new subscribers or any anyone new watching hasn't seen it, I'll just show you briefly. The reason I say I'm, this is bittersweet is because, I mean, I already said in the beginning, like I've spent hours and hours and days and days and days and days out here in the garage moving stuff around making sure everything's perfect and exactly accessible where i want it and i'm a total nerd and i geek out about all that kind of efficiency stuff when camping um i also just got my whole truck ceramic coated and paint corrected and it looks beautiful and i'm about to take it completely off uh, also i know a lot of people are going to um you know ask me is all this stuff for sale so I sold everything. One guy is going to buy the GFC, the deck system I made, and the rear swing out bumper. Um, he's gonna buy the awning, the solar up there, um, some of these bags, the molly panel. I'm keeping the fridge, but all this stuff's gonna go. But yeah, this was my setup. Well, it is my setup, but uh, it's not gonna be anymore. Stuff in my drawers for uh, cooking. I have lighting here light down there and up there everywhere um i built this floor and cut the deck system out um shaved down a lot of this um i sealed all this up really really good um i have my whole entire air up system here on both sides this is the faster flight system uh, i have an air chuck right over there for that side and it runs over here to this air chuck uh, i'm gonna refigure the new roof rack however that ends up being up there but here's the last look, the absolute last look. All right, a right, little update before it gets too dark. So, took the molly panel off, um, stripped all the camera, or all the cameras, the lights, uh, well, working on the lights, um, the levels, the stuff on the side over here. And then I have all these totes and stuff. Everything from my drawer, here, let me set this down. Everything in this drawer, it's been emptied, cleared out. I feel like I'm moving, like moving houses, because I kind of am. <laughs> um, everything that was in that drawer is in here, pots and pans, um, all of the uh, toiletries, um, propane, fire starting things. This is some of the wiring that I had nice and neat up here for the chase lights. Disconnected the brake light to that light there that's my solar and my um my fridge stuff i hardwired for the fridge it's there i got all these drawers or totes i guess this little plano tub it's like a foot deep it's got all the crap that was like all over the camper lights and quick fists and molly panels and stratchets and fire extinguishers oops sorry i thought i was in fisheye um hammocks just everything off-road jack jumper cables all kinds of crap so got the beef bars off too and my max checks off and i got these new mounts from wild mitten project for um i want to run a gfc on the the new setup but uh, these are ultra low profile mounts that you don't need the beef racks and they just look like they're floating up there. They look mega clean. Now I'll just check them out, Wild Mitten Project. These are freaking awesome. My goal is to get some neighbors around here and help lift the GFC off tomorrow. I'd love to have the, the deck and the GFC off and just run, uh, run the swing out with 
just the truck bed because I've never done that before. Just see what it looks like, mix it up for like a, a week or so, and then I'll pull the rear bumper and then we'll go from there and start the new stuff. But... All right guys, here's a little update. So I have removed the GFC and the deck system completely. Um, shout out to my awesome neighbors. They helped me lift this gigantic camper off of here. All of this stuff is out. Such a pain to disconnect all the wires and everything. I've never seen my truck like this. So I'm gonna take off the Zargus cases up there. Leave that little roof rack. Pretty crazy looking. We'll see if I get any more MPG out of it. Honestly, I doubt I'll get much. So I think we used a total of five people and got this thing off. It's just sitting in here on some two by fours, everything stripped off of it. The deck system is right here. Um, all my hardware and parts and air compressor and crap are in these two totes. I probably of oh, my, all my other stuff's over there. Man, I'm guessing, let's see, that's about 300 pounds with the awning. The deck is 200, so that's 500. I probably had 200 pounds of gear. No, maybe not 200, 100 pounds of gear. So maybe looking at 600 pounds, something like that. And then the bumper is two, 225, six, seven, 800 pounds. Tire is another 100 pounds. So around a thousand pounds. And then I'm gonna take the actual bed off when I do the flat bed and uh, whatever that weighs. So this truck's gonna be freaking goofy for a while. All right, get one last look at this bumper with everything on it. Looks pretty goofy with a fully, fully loaded rear swing and nothing in the bed. <laughs> pretty funny. So I cannot find my lug key because I'm essentially moving houses. Uh, and I have no idea where I put it in all the gear and all the shuffle. So, buy scripts, baby. Look at that. I mean, that's freaking dialed if I've ever seen it. Tire off. About to take a uh, jerry can holder off. But this is proven to make things go faster for some reason. So, we gotta drink that. Got everything disconnected. All the wires, the side brackets <clears throat> that are uh, attached to the frame. Got all those off, all the accessories pulled. Update, the truck looks funny. Cut the bumper off. Actually, it wasn't terrible. Um, my wife and I actually, well, I put it down with the jack, but my wife and I actually picked it up and put it over here. Not too bad, just kind of rinsing it off because there's mud caked up in there. But look at this thing. Dude, so uh, the Dobberson Springs, are, it's definitely oversprung right now. Look how high the bed is. This is funny. Like, this is to my, this is to here on me, the bed. I'm five, five ten or so, look at that. That is hilariously tall. I mean, this was, this was easily like three inches lower at least. Here's the rear. That is funny. Look at this thing, dude. It's just goober. Did the highest of clearance possible. Look at that. It's... Dude. Wow, that is so weird. Dude, it's the opposite of a Carolina squat. That's crazy. Just, dude, that dual exhaust is looking hard. Oh, twin pipes. Anyway, thought I'd give you guys a little pan of this because we'll never see it like this again. Uh, at this point, I kind of want to go into the nitty gritty on some of these parts and upgrades and talk about the features because that's the whole point in doing them, right? Like what are the, what are the gains? What are the benefits? The flatbed is pretty self-explanatory as far as accessibility, like what you can see as far as mod modularity as well. Um, like I said, you can have a flatbed, you can put the rails on the side, you can do a full box, you can do a half box. There's just tons of configurations and your, your setup is never limited with a flatbed. That's the cool thing. If you need to haul a bunch of stuff 
it's seriously like a few bolts and you lift this thing off and you can drive away and you have a full flatbed. Like that's super cool. You know, you can't say that with like a, a GX or like a, I don't know, an SUV, right? You build it kind of one way and that's all you get. With a truck, you get crazy modularity. So that's gonna be cool. Then I, you know, I ditch the rear bumper, get a, actually a lot more clearance, even even more than the high clearance bumper now. Um, better departure angle, just a bunch of benefits. Dirtbox also makes like a pull out um, kitchen setup, kitchenette, I think is what it's called. Dude, it's nuts. It pulls out and it flips and it does all kinds of stuff. So they, they make that as well. I'll have a fridge slide and it'll just be dialed in super cool. Oh, the other thing is there's going to be water storage kind of in like the headboard area um, on one side and then your gas tank um, filler nozzle kind of gets relocated too. So, all right, next I want to talk a little bit about the new all pro long travel kit. Isn't out yet. I'll be the first amongst a few others to get this on the truck and test it and everything. Well, that's kind of, Another thing to talk about, the testing. The All Pro guys, I believe, have said they've put on or made like 18 to 20 something revisions on this kit and been developing it for years. So it's not something that, you know, they just had an idea and they were like, oh, let's go and build this thing. It's been tested and abused. They took it to the Texas Jamboree and beat the crap out of it. Um, you know, they're, they're, constantly trying to make the best product they can. So I'm, I'm confident this thing's gonna crush. So some details on it, that it's plus 2.75 width per side. That in and of itself, just, just the amount of work to do that is wild, right? You gotta have um, longer uppers, longer lowers, longer CVs. All of it uh, is gonna be included in the kit. Also another weak point is the steering rack. So they have a uh, basically an LC200 steering rack that I think they, they that they've kind of modified and made to their specifications. So upgraded steering rack, I believe upgraded steering pump, maybe something like that. Uh, and they're doing longer axle shafts. Um, the spindle is fully boxed, just as beefy as possible. Fully boxed uppers, the lowers have tons of clearance and crap ton of strength. I'm sure I'm missing a bunch of stuff, but that componentry and geometry and all the work going into that is just mind blowing. So can't wait to run it on the truck. Yeah, the more I remember the all pro kit, the more I uh, remember different features. There's like Heim joint city, man. Heim's everywhere. Uh, super crazy tie rod ends, like everything is gnarly. And then pairing that with the new Dobbison st uh, shocks, I have zero information on the Dobbison stuff. My, the stuff on my truck actually might even be samples. I'm not too sure. Um, but it, it is a product that, that they're going to come out and offer. So you guys can buy that if you decide to long travel your, your rig or whatever. That's kind of all the, the details that I know at this point. Let me show you my sweaty face. I don't really know of another update I'm going to do until I'm going to make a whole other video of the, the canopy going on or the tray going on and all that. Follow my Instagram because I'll be able to do shorter bursts of content there. On Instagram, it's just a, uh, or sorry, on YouTube, it's way more of a production. So check out my Instagram for more updates. I guess lastly, like, I, I'm like super humbled that these companies are just so awesome. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't, if I did say this, I didn't reach out to them and say, hey, you know, can I run this and this? I'll give you this and this. And I don't really, I don't know. I'm not somebody who tries to ask for a bunch of stuff. I don't know. I just, these guys reached out to me and just for whatever reason, like I just feel so blessed that I was chosen to do all this stuff. Like, and if you know me, hopefully you know I'm being genuine here. And if you don't know me, I am being genuine here. I'm not uh, not one to flaunt stuff or whatever. I, I despise that kind of crap, but just, uh, just crazy, man. Crazy where the channel's gone, crazy these opportunities. Sorry, I had to kind of end that last clip. My neighbor was walking up and needed something uh, oh look at this i didn't show you guys this um we widened our driveway if you couldn't tell um none of this was here before it's just way better parking and for my off-grid trailer and everything and i built this fence extension which it's pretty sweet um with this big farm gate pretty proud of it pretty stoked so that's kind of where it ended but i did this all myself in one day and uh 
yeah, like I said, I'm pretty proud of it. It also swings fully that way too. Anyway, that was random. Yeah, like I said in that last clip, I uh, can't believe this is happening to me. And um, I just feel very lucky, I guess. And I'm, I, uh, I don't know, I'm, I don't want to call myself like an influencer or any of that stuff. I think there's a lot of negative connotation with that stuff. Um, or can be at least and I don't know I just remind myself like I came from a little Jeep TJ you know like a few years ago I don't even know how long it's been now since maybe 2018 but and now I have this truck and it's already over the top and now it's gonna get even more crazy and like it's just crazy the community and everything and, and how everything's happened so I'm just super thankful I guess getting all sappy but I'm pretty thankful um all right guys yeah stick stick uh, around for the the other content as far as like getting the bed on there and everything but uh appreciate you guys following along thank you guys so much for the support really it's all y'all's uh doing this whole channel you know if this channel wasn't uh wasn't popular i'm sure i wouldn't be in all these um scenarios and spots that i'm in so thank you guys so much the sun's setting though i'm gonna mow i'm still a regular dude <laughs> I mow my own yard. I'm uh, not rich and I don't live in a fancy house. But anyway, uh, thank you guys again. We'll see you in the next video.